A very good day to you. I want to speak to you today about opening the door. If we look at Revelation chapter 3 and verse 20, Jesus says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. He's knocking at the door of your life today, my dear friend. But remember one thing. The handle of the door is on the inside. The Lord will not break the door down to come in because He's a gentleman. He says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if you open the door, I will come in and sup with you and dine with you and you with me. He wants to dine with you. Please open the door. What do you mean, Angus? You are keeping the door back because of your lack of love for Jesus Christ. How can you say that, Angus? Very simply. You see, in Titus chapter 1 and verse 16, the Bible says, They say they love God, but by their actions they deny Him. We need to understand our actions speak louder than words. God wants you and me to live a holy life. You cannot uh, hunt with the hounds and run with the hares, as they say. What does that mean? You can't be a Christian today and tomorrow you're not a Christian. Then the next day you're a Christian. That is what's keeping people out of the kingdom of God. A compromised lifestyle. Folks, we need a vision and we need it from God. If we look at... Um, Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 18, the Bible says clearly, where there's no vision, the people perish. The New King James Version says, where there is no revelation, the people cast off restraint. If you don't know where you're going, then you're not going to get prepared. You need a vision from God, and then you need to do it God's way. You know, the world stands aside for a man or a woman who know where they are going. I want to ask you a question today. Do you know where you're going? Well, you say, I'm just existing. I just get up in the morning, I go to work, I come back at night. That's not living, that's existing. Now, what's holding you back? Lack of vision. Okay, So you need vision. How do you get vision? Quite simply, by opening the door, asking Jesus to come into your life, and allowing Him to give you a game plan, a new, brand new game plan. And that might involve a lot of repentance. What is repentance? Saying, I'm sorry, Lord. You see, you can't have an immoral relationship with somebody else and expect God to bless your business. It doesn't work like that, sir. You have to repent in order for God to work in your life. He is a holy God. He is a holy spirit. He is a holy father. He will not, cannot tolerate sin because sin put God's son on the cross of Calvary. It was sin, your sin and my sin. He cannot have anything to do with sin. We need to repent. We need to open the door, ask him to come into our lives. And then we will see the Lord Jesus Christ make an amazing difference in our lives. I want to say to some young people watching this program, listen carefully. People don't have to like you, but they must respect you. Okay? They don't have to like you. They don't even have to agree with what you believe in, but they must respect you. They must say, that young man, that young woman, I'll tell you what, one thing about them, you can trust them. What they say is what they do. See, a lot of us talk about Jesus, but our lifestyle is empty. That's what Mahatma Gandhi said. He had a quarter of the world's population in the palm of his hand. He was the first prime minister of India. He said, I have no problem following this man, Jesus, but I cannot reconcile myself to his followers. It's, it's us that's letting the show down. Let us start to open the door. Let Jesus come in. Let's start living a holy life. And I tell you what, you'll all of a sudden you'll see a new beginning. Until next time, goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.